who's to blame for the paralysis that strands millions of pounds of radioactive waste at reactor sites all over the nation, and will cost taxpayers some $40 billion, and perhaps a lot more. Congress, the U.S. Government Accountability Office says. And Congress must fix it. In a dispassionate but merciless examination of the string of follies that has put the federal government nearly a quarter century behind accepting waste from commercial reactors like the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station, where 3. 6 million pounds of waste must sit for years or possibly decades, the GAO chronicled the weeds that have choked the effort, then hacked through them to clear a path forward. Commercial spent nuclear fuel is extremely dangerous if not managed properly, the report said. About 86,000 metric tons of this fuel is stored on site at 75 operating or shut down nuclear power plants in 33 states, an amount that grows by about 2,000 metric tons each year. The radioisotopes produced in a reactor can remain hazardous from a few days to many thousands of years, the GAO said. The longer it takes the federal government to resolve the current impasse and develop a solution for the permanent disposal of commercial spent nuclear fuel, the greater the burden. T. He safety of long-term dry cask storage is unknown, and the risks, such as environmental and health risks, of on-site storage increase the longer the fuel is stored there, attempted sabotage and theft of radioactive material are also potential security risks, the report said. The Nuclear Waste Policy Act of 1982 made the management and permanent disposal of commercial spent nuclear fuel a federal responsibility, the GAO explained.